Hello everybody, I am Fedora Gamer, and welcome to the Randomly Generated Podcast. It's been a few weeks, things got uh, cancelled last week, is fighting guests is hard. And we are plagued by other problems this week as well, because we are a man down, or more so a dragon down. My faithful co-host Ginger Dragon is unfortunately ill, assumably because he ate a disease-riddled knight, and it didn't really agree with him, and now he's deathly ill himself. But everybody should tweet him some get well soon kind of things because, you know, he's sick, so he's not here. He will be back hopefully next week, though. Stone, I will mute you again. Remember last time? That's my brother for anyone that doesn't know that. Okay, but this week I am once again joined by the lovely lady down under, Jade. Hi. And we are yes, also... Sir. Yep, it just it sounds just as dirty this time, right? Yeah, it does. Intentionally so. <laughs> I know. And our guest indie developer this week is Ben Perry, developer of Copod, a ridiculously cute roguelike that you'll be seeing a little <laughs> bit later in the show. Hello. Also, I am surrounded by accents. And... <laughs> it's for us having a bit of an orgasm. Yes. Ben doesn't know this, but I... There's kind of a running <laughs> joke that I have a thing for accents, more specifically British accents, but Australians are really good too. <laughs> oh, God. So. And not even not even Ginger Dragons here. I swear this was not a plan to intentionally surround myself with accents. It, <laughs> probably. Yeah, could have said the Canadian one too. Canadian accents are good. There you go. I said it. I'm the nice yeah. one. Yeah. They're all right to me. Why am Not I... as good as British ones, are they? Sorry about that weird sound. Uh, you getting some? On... You getting some cat chat? Sorry about that weird sound on chat. I still had the widget open from the Lyme disease charity stream, and I just got the sound effect that somebody uh, donated. Uh, I didn't mean to have that open. Still, we will talk about that a little bit here, though. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the first segment. What we've been playing this week. Let's start with Jade. What have you been playing this week? Um. I've actually been trying out the, um, the Secrets of Grindia multiplayer arcade mode. Who have you been playing with? Uh, Axel. Ah, oh, he picked it up too, but, huh? Yep. As soon as, as soon as I heard about it, I'm like, you got to get this it, right now. It is kind of wonderful. And I have not played multiplayer yet. How well does that work out? It's good, but I think the difficulty needs to be scaled correctly. <laughs> it's still in beta, but does it get too hard in multiplayer? Um, it's it's basically just all the same issues you'd have in like single player. Like so, some enemies are a bit too overpowered, and the fact that health doesn't drop as much as you'd like. Oh yes, it's very difficult in in single player. I've only managed to make it to floor four, I believe. Yeah, if I've only gotten to. Four, I think. For anyone that doesn't know, Secrets of Grindia is a uh, it's an action action RPG. Its main story mode is really good. You know, it's interesting. Oh, but it, I it love it. Yes, but it's <laughs> not nearly finished yet. It's still in development. But it has a separate arcade mode, which is pretty much a roguelike. It just it makes it mm. into a roguelike. I would pay fifteen bucks just for the arcade mode of that game because it's really good. And I play. I've played a lot of it, and it's very hard too. Just gonna say that. <laughs> so. It is, but it's worth it. It's it has some cool unlocking and persistent progression type stuff, where you're basically building a town by getting better and better scores at going through the uh, through the tower, dungeon, mountain. It's like you're going up a mountain. Is how the floors yeah, go. Yeah, it, it kind of it kind of gives me a like rogue legacy kind of feel like even though you just lost that run you'll do better next time yep and yeah. the persistent progression of building the town most of it's just mm. kind of cosmetic so it's not like rogue legacy where you're actually getting yeah, no, stronger not quite like that no. yeah does but it still just gives you a sense of progress in that your time wasn't wasted in you know your death kind of thing yeah it also gives you a lot of bonus um uh, what am I thinking here? I can't think of the word. I'm just, just I'm not even really awake right now, but it gives you aesthetic items that you can put into appearance slots. You can't complain about being awake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good point. 
My bad. But it gives you a lot of uh, type vanity type items that actually carry over into the single player game that you can equip over there that are just no stat items, but you have appearance slots you can put them in, like funny hats and things like that, like a slime hat and, a, and things. A top hat, I believe, is one of them, which is quite wonderful. An apple hat. Yeah, an apple hat. <laughs> so it's all about the hats. Yeah, it gives you some stuff and like um, angry eyes that you can put on your face and uh, mustaches and stuff. It gives you some fun aesthetic things that you can actually carry over into the. Uh, I say the single player game, but actually the single player can be multiplayer as well. But the uh, the storyline mode it, you can carry over into that. I don't know why I keep saying single player because it's multiplayer both in the arcade and in the story game. So it is. Yeah. No, we we had already tried the story mode and we decided to. Just out our camera see how that was. Anything else you've been playing? Um, other than Isaac and whatever else. No, nothing new. Nothing too interesting? No. How about you, Ben? What have you been playing? Playing a bit of um, Factorio, I believe it's called. What is it? The Factorio. Like, know, oh, the, yeah, the, uh, yeah, I know what you're on about. I yeah, know I've heard that some... name. Yeah, it's basically a game where you just build, um, you're oh. on this Aiden world, you just build this massive factory, and it's just, yeah, it's, it's just... pretty cool. I've always been a fan of those kind of um, simulation um, kind of games where you, well, I've always loved SimCity, so this is a natural, like, and Transport Tycoon, so this kind of appealed to me. Right, it's kind and... of a survival game, kind of like Don't Starve or, like, Survival Minecraft, but instead of just limiting yeah. yourself to being pretty much a caveman hitting things with rocks, you actually build full out industrial yeah. automation. Yeah, like I've seen some quite organized factories and mine's just a sprawling mess. Like it's just horrible. Because <laughs> you can always conveyor belts and that sort of thing. Can I turn Ben up Is a little it... bit? Um Can you? Jimmy? I will just I turn up quiet. Turn up let me turn up Skype volume a little bit. Thank you, Doke. Is that any better? Um, All right, is go this ahead. okay? Yeah, go on. Okay, yeah, so, um, where was I? Yeah, it's it's quite fun. It's a bit of, um, it's a bit grindy at the moment, because the only thing really you have to work for is the next um, phase in the tech tree. So, it's, yeah, it's definitely an alpha, because there's not much of an end to go other than the sake of just building your... Um, Factory, but if you like that sort of thing, which I do, it's still a lot of fun to have. I, I've played it for far too long than I should have, really. Many hours. It's a very unique so, game. I don't. I can't think of any other game that has yeah. that kind of functionality. Yeah, sometimes I feel like I just want to play it like SimCity, where I don't have to play a character, but it definitely adds something where you have to upgrade your suit. Because what happens is, as you expand your base... Um, you start to aggro nearby aliens, and so you have to build up defenses, and eventually you have to deal with these aliens if you want to expand in the area, because eventually you run out of resources in your area, so you have to build outwards and build a train system to re bring back materials back to your main base and all that sort of thing. So there's a natural like kind of um, system where it limits your growth, and you really have to focus on building up your weaponry and that sort of thing. From what There's I a nice sort of... From the videos I saw of that game, one thing I do have to say is that like the combat of your actual character is really the very much the weak point of the game. Like it's yeah, I mean that's what makes me want to play like SimCity. I just want to build a massive um, base. And yeah, just see, yeah, yeah, and it's all automated glory. But it's still I don't know. It maybe can work out and improve. I don't know. It definitely can be improved, but it kind of just gives you a the motivation to want to build out automated defenses and stuff so you don't have to even worry about that part. Yeah. Like, sometimes I wonder if it would be better if it was an, I don't know, an RTS sort of thing in that sense where you send out drones because there are drones in the game. I don't know. But it's still fun regardless. I definitely need to check that out. It, it definitely looked really interesting. Again, it's a very unique concept mm. building out full automation where literally automated mining and conveyor belts take it to a smelter and it smelts and then conveyor belts take it to a storage or something yeah. or wherever you need it. It gets really interesting in that regard. It's like a lot of um, Minecraft mods, really. Because um, I remember playing some, I think it's Tech It's called, like, on the server, some friends, and yeah, it's 
where you can also like build quarries and then you can build pipes to pipe in materials and turn that into other resources that you need. It's kind of similar to that, really. I didn't know that existed as a Minecraft mod. That's kind of cool. Oh, oh, they're Are crazy serious? Minecraft mods. I, they are insane. I haven't played <laughs> Minecraft since the very early beta days of it, so like right when it first yeah. released for sale. Yeah, I was in the Minecraft alpha, then a bit in beta, then I kind of, you know, I was a bit bored of Minecraft then. After mm -hmm. I built kind of like a roller coaster and a massive base, I was like, uh, I've kind of explored everything Minecraft has to offer. But then I played again when, when I realized the mods were pretty good, and that lasted me for a little while. It's definitely modtastic these days. There's a lot of crazy mods out there for it. Mm. I, I really just don't pick it up because I'm scared if I start playing it with the cool mods again, that would probably consume <laughs> my life and I wouldn't get any videos yeah. made. That's true. Yeah, it, the, the mods can do that. <laughs> like you can build quarries, and I think there's even a spaceship one, and all these sorts of things. And you can find oil, and turn, it's just crazy, insane, like the amount of things they do. Okay, so what have I been playing? Ah, uh, shit, what have I been playing? <laughs> this always has me. I have to like on, look uh, at stream. Yeah, recently played Steam. Uh, so you are being hunted. I did play that on the uh, Wolves Against Lime charity stream last night, and that game is kind of terrifying. Yeah, I played um, <laughs> the beta of it. I haven't played it since, but I enjoyed it. It's quite good. There, uh, there's this giant thing with a cane, and I may have peed a little <laughs> at that point. That was. Oh man, I was in co with you. <laughs> <laughs> man. It was that was horrifying. That thing was like 50 foot tall and terrifying. The other robots don't even compare anymore. I, <laughs> this cane could go through the wall to get you. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, still said that giant, make... that giant headless uh, cane robot was no joke. It made the most horrifying sounds. It was, oh. <laughs> that I need to play more of that game and see if there's anything else in, in, terrifying like that. And I've also been playing a lot of Ascend It, which I played on the stream last night as well, but I've been playing a lot of that just on my own time. I pretty much played that until almost 5 a.m. after I got done streaming last night. And I still cannot... I still cannot reliably get past the second floor. It's a... <laughs> it's an action roguelike. Uh, it's more like a brawler roguelike. The combat is actually more brawler style and a lot more in-depth and a lot better than you would you see in most games that have roguelike elements. Or roguelite, if you want to appease the, the purists out there that flip out. <laughs> And it is freaking gorgeous. The game has a wonderful art style, a lot of depth to the combat, a good amount of depth to the the items. And well, they're not even... So, the only real item in the game is weapons, but then you get, like, spirit blessings you equip at different slots on your body, and then... Um, I can't remember what all the things are called. There's some other kind of... I think it's just the spirit, actually, that are passive bonuses. And then you get these little kind of stone things that give you passive, less interesting bonuses, like plus 5% melee damage kind of thing. Mm. And then there's also breaths, which are like breaths of a god, which are one-time use, fairly powerful items. So it's got a good amount of depth and a lot to unlock, a lot of characters to unlock. I did finally unlock another character last night that kind of sucks. It's it's based around the magic in the game, and... It, yeah, I just can't play that character because it has so little life and it has a, a side effect that it has a chance of taking double damage when he takes a hit so he's supposed to be like all all mage and yeah, I die so fast with that guy <laughs> yeah I've seen a few videos of that game it looks alright from what I can see and what you told me I might give that oh, it's, a shot soon it's great it's on Steam for it's like $10 and a little bit off for it's first week sale I think it's it's like 9 bucks right now I highly recommend it. I should probably grab the Steam Store link for that. Stone, do me a favor. Go grab that link and throw it in chat. I will probably regret this, but I will mod you. You're my secretary now. Uh, do you want me to do it? I'm nah. modded. Eh, I just mod Stone, so he may as well make use of it some way. I will regret this. Now. I will regret modding him in the future, I am sure. Oh, speaking of modding and whatnot, I forgot the GIF of the day. Let's go ahead and get that going right now. Here is... Didn't Why... work! Why didn't you work? GIF of the day. It's this link. Why did it do that? Hold on. 
Maybe, I don't know why it ended up with HTTPS. That's a little strange that the GIF is on a secure <laughs> server. Well, it's I'll take God. Me, but, oh. That is, oh. Uh... It's loading very slowly, though. Yeah, well, it should, yeah. it, it should embed in the chat instead of being a link like that. Oh. Oh, delete the question. What's after the question mark? Oh, why is that even yeah, there? Yeah, that's what Bloody I was hell. thinking. What? I don't know how this link got so goofy, but. Yeah. There we go. You There's did the it gift. Silly. Uh, um. <laughs> you can thank. I have a better gift. You can thank Slothborn for that gift. It's from the strangest music video in existence, I, at least that I've ever seen. It's. Uh, <laughs> I think turn, I've seen that. Turn down the what or something like that, and it is weird. There's like I things like no that words. and possess <laughs> demon possessed boobs and yeah, the, the it's it's strange, but that's such a great <laughs> gift. There, yep, yeah, that's the gift of the day. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Slothborn, oh. for that one. He tweeted that. <laughs> <laughs> This is a gift you'll it. never forget. That's the point. You'll never love it or hate it. You'll never forget it. It's, oh, God. it's in Why your it? yeah. It's in your brain forever now. It reminds me of the gift that was on the Cultural podcast. Like they had this Jurassic Park gift. It was quite um. It had us is in that one as well. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, the last Cultural podcast or? Oh, this was probably a few episodes ago. Huh, I don't remember that. I do tend to watch most of them, but I have missed some lately, so. Possibly put it in the chat, yeah. Yes. Not chat, well. It's. <laughs> it's, it's Camper's saving that one for future enjoyment. <laughs> there we go, there's a link to Ascendant. It's bloody wonderful, and I need, probably need to get a video made of it to, later today. I will try to do that. That requires me to stop playing it long enough to actually start recording software and, and record a video of it, though. That's the problem I've been okay. having with it. <laughs> also, they also put it on display how bad I actually am at it. Though, you know, Total Biscuit made a video of it, and I'm better than he is at it, so I can at least say that. <laughs> Indeed. All right, let's how go. How do I... Okay. How do you what? No, it's like, I was wondering how I should get some Skype, but I'm okay. Oh. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to gaming news. Oh, you're sending me a GIF. Okay. I, I just noticed something <laughs> on that. Um, just throw it... I have a, wait. I have a GIF. It's, 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 it's pretty cute. Say something in chat, Ben, so I can mod you, and you can just post the GIF in chat, so then everyone can enjoy it. There you go. Ben Perry Butts. Okay. That works. <laughs> there oh, you my go. leg is falling asleep, cat. You have been modded. I need I to need do to that. Get up soon. Is cinnamon on you? Yeah, cinnamon's sitting on my lap. The cat's rather large, my... isn't it? Pardon? Your cat's rather large, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe you're just tiny and it looks large in the pictures. <laughs> it's all a matter of scale. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, maybe a bit of barf. I don't know. Yeah. But there you go, Ben. One of my cats, like, weighs, like, 10 kilo. Go ahead and post that GIF in the chat if you have a web address for it, at least. Sure thing. It's on my phone, but I think the file name is the same as the address on ImageGur, or however you spell that site. <laughs> ah. He said cat. Cat. Not anything else. So, do not get this section of the... Podcast started. Yes. Yeah. It's a dark road, and I'm not coming back <laughs> from it. Okay. Oh wait! Wow! Wow! Oh, I'm gonna smack <laughs> myself a little bit to wake up because apparently I'm still having sleep. I just now caught what that what they were talking about. Yeah, that turned kind of dirty. <laughs> I'm slower today. It's all right. I uh. got four hours of sleep. I was at the stream. Like, I got I like nine. I get here. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Anyway, uh, we're waiting for Ben's uh, gif. If you wanted to post a gif, go ahead, Jade. It's the gif of the day moment. We can all throw a gif in the chat here. Okay. Cool. What the shit? 
What is that? <laughs> oh, that's that's wonderful. That that's butts. It's, it it's, is. We're giving Camper quite a collection today. Oh dear. All credit goes to the Cultural Podcast for finding that one for me. That, that is was... wonderful. <laughs> wow. Oh, dear. You know what? I'm saving nothing, that too. Nothing Save. Nothing near as <laughs> amazing as that, but I do have an Indie Mouse gif, and I think that's cool. Indie Mouse uh. is a sexy beast, <laughs> so... He's totally adorable. Look at his little face. <laughs> I want to get him on the podcast sometime, but he turned me down, so he doesn't do podcasting stuff. So. I'll keep asking him until he eventually says yes. That's my plan. Okay, we got we got butt gifts and lots of butt <laughs> gifts today. <laughs> yeah, I think we should move away from this. But it's not a no. gif of his butt. Unfortunately, we don't have a gif of Indian Mouse twerking or anything like that. <laughs> that doesn't exist yet. It needs yet. to. Uh, you've got a very professional setup here, I see. Yes. All right. It, anyway, it always, it always goes this way when I'm in the pool or I'm around. Thank Hitbox, because oh, the gift of the day segment didn't exist until we moved to Hitbox, and you could embed gifts, and it's wonderful. Yay! <laughs> All right, gaming news. I I'm pretty sure I had something in mind for that. Um, yes, one of them was the, the X-Bone, the Xbox One. They've now announced they're going to release a version of it without the Kinect. And they are, Microsoft is very much patting themselves on the back about how brilliant they are of that, of do, you know, for doing that. Since, you know, no one wanted that. No one in existence wanted a required Kinect on the Xbox One. They didn't want to be spied on. just dance? No one wanted that either. It's <laughs> 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 so the only worthwhile game for the Kinect, really. That and um, that speaks Double volumes. Fines. Yeah, but I, they have Party Connect as well, which is actually just—it's not really a game. It's just mindless, like gimmicky toys to play with the Kinect. But that's pretty fun for a few minutes. Like it's made by Double Fine, and it has this like dubstep simulator as well. It's pretty weird, but amazing. Pretty much. Microsoft has gone down the route of like uh, EA about SimCity, where they're like, "Oh, always online connections required. We can't, we can't remove it. It's built, you know, so deeply into the game or whatever." And then they're like, "Oh, hey, we removed it." <laughs> and that's what Microsoft was saying yeah. about the Xbox One and the Connect. That it, it's an integral part of the Xbox One, and it cannot be removed. And you can't even turn on your Xbox One without it. And then they're like, "Oh, hey, here's one without it. We lied. We we're going to do just it wanted now. the Connect to succeed so badly. You did? Why? It's such gimmicky garbage. No, not garbage. me. Not me. Oh. Microsoft did. Oh yeah. <laughs> be so, so quick to defend yourself. Yeah. I didn't want that. <laughs> no. <laughs> they were ridiculous. Yeah, they <laughs> they were trying to force it into relevance by requiring yeah, I mean, it in the next gen. I've seen some pretty um, cool things done with the Kinect, technically, on the technical side, just not anything game-wise. Yeah, it's like a gimmick. Yeah, so I, mean, gimmick. I mean, if I had some money, I'd, and I'd probably buy one just to play around with, to do some cool, like, hacky things with it, but other than that, not really much else. It's yeah. Just, I guess they thought like maybe it'll be the new way to interface the TV because remotes aren't too great, I guess. But I don't know. Yeah, that's Just... the voice activation stuff, which I guess is part of the Connect. Mm. I think the mic is I mean... on the Connect. I'm not sure. That actually yeah. was kind of yeah. cool, but game wise, not useful at all. Yeah, I mean the Connect does do some cool things. Like when you're talking, it it knows which person's talking, that sort of thing. Because it can see you, your mouth moving, I guess, and stuff like that. And you've got directional mic as well. Maybe if so it can do some cool things, but maybe yeah. if there's connect porn, it would be worth something. But not, not yet. What? You tell me you haven't thought about it. Come on. I hadn't actually. <laughs> no. <laughs> but then again, you there's feel like just bad man now. I am bad man. But uh, then again, there is, you know, Oculus Rift coming, and you can just do Oculus Rift porn would be better anyway. That's true. <laughs> it's very true. <laughs> like, 
I mean, Oculus Rift, I don't know. Like, people seem to be... I guess um, after Facebook now, it's, people are less Wait, excited yes. by it, I guess. It's Space Rift now. Sorry, I forgot. Face Rift. Yes. What? That's what it is. That's why I've dubbed it now as the Face oh, Rift. Oh, okay. I getcha. The Face Rift. But, um, I don't know. Like, there's so many game genres that won't benefit from the Kinect, like RTS, simulation... Anything that's basically has a third-person camera, that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. for the most part. I don't know, some third-person games or like side scrollers have actually been or started to develop for Oculus. I'm not. Yeah, I'm interested to but see even then, what they come up with to make but, that interesting. Yeah, I mean, surely I think I don't know. I I got a sneaky suspicion it would just be the kind of like motion controls where you can find out you can't do a lot of things that you can do with existing control schemes, like. I've talked to friends that have used the Oculus Rift. Like, I've tried playing Portal, and mm-hmm. like whenever it moves, like you move it with an analog stick while it's connected to your head, like yeah. if you make, basically wants you makes you want to throw up, and that makes me feel like mm, that's and and also Oculus Rift released like this I don't know like ten page PDF or whatever like of all the things you can't do with Oculus Rift in order to maximize the best um, user experience and like. If you're releasing materials of what not to do with an input control system, I don't know. It, that it, I, don't know. I assume that the ten page PDF is how to make your players not projectile vomit. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. You, like you say things you name. can't do with the control <laughs> control scheme of Oculus, Rift, but I really don't ever view Oculus Rift as a control method. It's a display no, method. I guess not. Yeah, it's just display but, method. Yeah. I mean, it'd be good for games that you walk around a lot and move slowly anyway, like DayZ, I guess. But... Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's get some, like, but, action fighter games, like fast-paced stuff, and see if people see really get sick. Yeah. Ooh. But look, that's what I mean, like, I don't know. It, I, 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 I remain to be convinced, put it this way. I've never tried ones, but I can't, so I can't really say much. Um, I do intend to hopefully go to PAX Prime, so hopefully I'll get a chance to actually put mm. one on during that. But um, <clears throat> everyone I've heard, you know, that's put it on said it's pretty freaking amazing, and definitely yeah. it's not suited for every game style in existence. But for what mm. would work well with it, will work really well with it. Yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of bright people behind it, like John Carmack and stuff like that, and he has some cool ideas about lots of things and so I guess it has all the right people behind it if it's ever going to work yes and I don't know maybe it is I don't know I, I don't know maybe I just guess it seems like to be more connect like where it's a cool piece of tech rather than a cool gaming device I don't uh-huh. know maybe it is better suited for Facebook oh. ew ew <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's know. see. There there was a GIF that explains my thoughts on like, Facebook taking it over pretty well. And I'm seeing if I can find it again. Um, uh, I think I can... Oop, nope, not, not this. I think I can find this here. Hey, this might be it. That's, I'm just an overly cynical guy sometimes, though, so, you know. You're, you're British. That's... Part of the <laughs> that's required. DNA. Yes. <laughs> okay, I found it here. Let's see. Um, ah, uh, copy image URL. I'm I'm finding it. One second, just making sure it's not okay. Making sure it's actually the image URL, not the page it's on. That doesn't work out. Here like, is I... the GIF. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, here it comes. <laughs> I love that gif. <laughs> Funny thing is, it's just it's a quite clip well from. Made. Well, it, it's just a clip from Futurama, and all they had to do is yeah. put in Oculus Rift subtitle, and then bam, it's it fits exactly, and put the logo there. You know, <laughs> mm. it was a very easy to make gif, and very but it, yeah, very well suited. Uh, are they gotta... still making Futurama? Uh, I don't think so. I wish. I love Futurama. Yeah. Futurama's great. Though we got way I off topic. Sorry, yeah. We do that a lot. <laughs> that happens all every week. 
We were talking about the Xbox I wasn't the One. I cause of it this time. Yet. <laughs> Yet. Uh, yes. Let's see. <laughs> Well, I did, I did have more news. We were talking about the Xbox One thing, so now they're like, oh, now we're going to release Xbox One without it that isn't overpriced because of this hardware that no one wants. So, you know, it'll actually be a decent mm. price. What else did yeah. I have? Um, a little bit of this kind of a little bit of old news because we didn't have a podcast last week, but there's the whole Towns thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, face palm. <laughs> They, the, basically, the game Towns was unofficially abandoned. Now it's officially abandoned, so the developers can start working on Towns 2. They're abandoning an unfinished game so they can make a sequel to that unfinished game, which I assume is just <laughs> going to end up being Towns, but finished, so they can resell it to everybody. That's my assumption on it. The PR Yay! Rival sells to fish. Money! Yeah, it's... It's complete scumbaggery and basically there's a little bit more to it the original developers abandoned it and then and got another developer to try to continue it for a a, a deal that the guy was dumb for accepting 15 percent of all future sales after the point he took it over they've made two million dollars mm-hmm. on on that game being unfinished and then after the you know the sales have died to almost nothing because they abandoned the game they try to hire this guy for 15 percent of the sales after steam's cut <laughs> so the guy's getting like how much uh, is the you game? never you never agree to revenue share it's just yeah not... and so the guy I mean... pretty much said i i can't live off this or buy a sandwich off this, so I abandon it as well. So, the game's going to be completely abandoned, and the original developers are like, well, we're not going to continue it, because we're going to work on Towns 2. So, this game that you bought, that was very clearly, and still very clearly unfinished, is never going to be finished. Yeah. Better off just making a whole new title and just learning from mistakes, but... Oh, well. Uh, I don't know. I, I steered clear away from that whole Towns thing here. Yeah, so I don't really, I've never played the game. Either have I. Never. Unfortunately, I always heard it had great potential, but it was very clearly an unfinished product. And the bad thing was, the scummiest part of it is they never once said on their Steam sales page that it was an unfinished game. It oh, it, it it's it was. Yeah, I think it was before Greenlight was available on Steam, though. But yeah, the fact that. It well, wasn't, no, it wasn't yeah. before Greenlight. It was actually the first game to get greenlit, but it was before early access uh, existed. Oh, sorry, yeah, that's it. That's it what was stuff there. Yeah, yeah, it, but even after early access became a thing, Steam never forced them to be on early access, and nowhere on their sales page has they ever stated that the game is unfinished, even though it very clearly is. So mm-hmm. there's danger. There's definitely the dangers of early access. I'm, I'm a supporter of early access. I play a lot of early access games. But when it's on the early access program, it's clearly stated, and you know you're taking the risk that it might never get yeah. finished. I and mean, you... I guess like they, it was a whole new, brand new thing back then, so maybe that's why. And I don't know. I guess they're from evidence from the fact they haven't finished the game. They're quite inexperienced and that sort of thing. So mm-hmm. I guess they didn't realize the need for it. But even then, you should tell people that your game's unfinished and stuff like that. Whatever. Exactly. But so when you're buying a game from early access, you're making a conscious decision knowing you're taking a risk with your money there. Yeah. So, and I, there's no one has any right to tell people they can't do that. It's their choice. I do it, and I do it knowing that mm-hmm. might happen. But no one was ever told that for Towns. They were peddling it as a finished game. Yeah. And Doesn't those mean. developers, whatever they come out with in the future, I probably won't touch with a 10-foot pole. <laughs> I mean, what games? I'm trying to think what games I bought on Alex. It's definitely Daisy. Like I remember trying to play that with a friend, and we were just having so many problems playing that thing together. Because first of all, there's a gameplay thing where you have to find each other, which is fine. It's not actually that hard to do; it just takes time. And then there's just a disconnection problem where my friend would randomly disconnect, and he would come back in, and then and there's a chance that he'll lose all his loot, and it's like, oh. Yeah. I don't know if the game's like that anymore. That was quite a few months ago. Uh, I haven't touched it yet. Eh, It's a thing I kind of want to try out once it's finished. Yeah, that's probably wise. I mean, that's pretty wise to do for most of the access games, really. I don't know. It depends on the genre and the type of game being made. Good point, yeah. Yeah. 
if it's like a single player story driven experience, that's not a good game for early access. You know, if it's kind of a sandboxy game, that works better for early access. Mm. Hi, Danson. Yeah. We have, we have Danson in the chat. We need we hmm. need the gif of Danson talking. Oh, who has that? I don't have it. Somebody in chat. I don't have it either. There, there's a Danson. Come on, Danson. Go for the help. If, for people that don't know, Danson is one of the Hitbox admins. Really cool guy. Ah, uh, there we go. Gladys has it. Right, I have Gladys in my chat. I forgot. Yeah. You. <laughs> Danson is a Hitbox admin. He's been on the <laughs> podcast. Really cool guy. And there is him twerking. Oh. I forgot I had Gladys. I've never actually really used her, but I do have her in my chat. And I don't know if there's a story behind that, why that exists, but it's it's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the gifts today are all mostly about butts. It's a very. <laughs> <laughs> it's a... I lost it's a bet. A <laughs> I'm so sorry, you know, Danson. Isn't that uh, the start of everyone's story? It's I lost a bet. Yes. <laughs> uh, I I love that story. That what it's a perfect one sentence story of why that exists. But anyway, welcome to the Randomly Generated Podcast. We talk about butts. Yay, butts! <laughs> Last time I was on, it was all about kangaroo balls. That I like was about it. Yes, good point. Let's not get on that again. Let's not. Let's not go there. What? <laughs> Kangaroos have huge balls. Let's. Uh, but that's all we'll say right now. Yeah. She's she's Australian, so you know she. And, uh, and goats. Go, okay. Goats. Goats. Yeah, as far as I know. Okay. How, how far do you <laughs> I don't know? know this. <laughs> Just that. That's as far as I know. That's okay. all. <laughs> anyway. Oh, dear. It's all right, Danson. Um, yeah. Danson, sleepy time. Yeah, he's foreign, so when I was streaming last night, it was a very bad time for him. But I squealed like a little girl while playing Sir You're Being Hunted several times. You did miss that. And he was me growling. Oh, hey, do the growl. <laughs> oh, oh, that's weird. <laughs> and, and ridiculously cute. And Stone loves it, yeah. so he's he's happy now. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Stone should be happy now. All right, what that's else do we have it. for news? Uh, the other news one I don't really Stream. want to get into. Let's go ahead and talk about the Wolves Against Lime live stream three day marathon that's going on right now and still going on for there's more than a day left in it i was i did my section of it last night and it's still going and they are over i think last i looked they're about 107 percent of their thousand dollar goal it's going to the oh, tick-borne awesome. disease alliance foundation some charity thing so it's huh. all organized by Squeaky B, and uh, and Matt's is a large part of it, but mostly organized by Squeaky B, and I believe she's the one streaming right now. And um, after the podcast, we will be raiding over there, and we'll be heading over there to show them some support. And if if you want to throw some money at a great cause, we would definitely appreciate any any donations. And that is, of course, at hitbox.tv slash Fedor not Fedoria. I'm reading my own URL. <laughs> Hitbox.tv <laughs> slash Wolfpack Gaming. And Hitbox are amazing. They are done, done a lot to support that charity stream. They have partnered the channel for the event, and any ad revenue during the event is going to the charity. And if we hit a certain threshold of your hours, they will also donate some just straight up cash from their own pockets. Because Hitbox is wonderful like that. There you go. Don't, yeah. There's a link. There we go. Definitely, if you want to like have two streams open, go hit that up right now, or we will definitely raid them at the end of the podcast. Yay! It was it was a lot of fun last night. I, play I, your buttholes. I press ganged Jade without any context or warning into a call with me while that I was, was streaming. That was so strange. I was like, He's I like, need off my own little world. I need accent in my call. Call Jade. <laughs> and she, I didn't think she was actually going to pick up, and she did. And and her birds were very much part of the stream too. I'm sorry, you decided to call at like three o'clock in the afternoon when everyone in the house is doing something loud. <laughs> hey, that's nine more people than you can provide. 
Huh? What do you guys say, Stone? Hey, ten people now. Yes. I we our viewership is pretty low this week. And I think it is lar largely in, due to that charity stream. A lot of our uh, circle of friends are over in watching that or in it. So, but let's go ahead and move on to playing some of the the guest devs game, Copod. Did I ever? Yay! <laughs> did I ever get the new version downloaded? I did. Well, the current version version's good enough, I guess. But yeah, it's fine. No, it it failed. Well, the download. Yeah, it needs oh, Java. Wait. No, no, I it's saying it could be dangerous. Come on, there you go. Keep. Thank you. Oh yeah. It's because of brand new link and Google. You're using Google Chrome. Yes. Yeah. Like when it, if it does that, it's for like when a brand new link exists. I guess they have an online database of commonly downloaded links, or something like that. And it uh, checks with that. I gotta uh, fix my uh, scene here. What was that? What? You know, I still don't understand this. Stone, I will mute that. your ass. Seriously, I've done it before. Don't worry, he's he's always here to troll me. That's what he does. Say I messed up my chat overlay. Hold on, say I'm fixing that. There we go. There, it's fixed. Okay, let's fire up some Copod. Is that? Am I saying it right? Or is it Coupod? Yeah, you're saying it fine. Okay. Saying it absolutely fine. It is a ridiculously cute roguelite or roguelite if you're one of the people that care about that. If I care, I'm so offended by what you said. The, hey, those purists are bloody oh, nuts. Dirty word. So, hold on. Yeah, I, d I don't know what to do. I say rogue light. That's a term that's used sometimes. I don't know. Let me adjust sound uh, volumes things. Mhm. Mm turn this down a little bit. There we go. All right. You doing okay, into. Jade? Yeah, I, I'm doing fun. I'm just kind of like... There's a lot of I things I don't no quite... Exactly. There's a lot of things I don't quite understand about the game yet either. Um, On the game setup, you have some options. Oh, I didn't know there's a second page of them here. Hmm. Some of them definitely make the uh, the game oh, easier. Yeah, that's... Oh, yeah, that's just a brand. That was in the new update sort of thing. Oh, there's, there's more? Some more. Which is your yes. favorite mode, personally, Ben? Hmm... I don't know. I kind of like. I mean, the feel does make things a bit different, but I I'd like um, Woomy's alright because actually that makes it makes it a bit easier. But it's actually kind of cool what it does. What yeah, what is Woom? What does that mean? I have not <laughs> figured that out in this game. If you just click it, it's um... like after you get a kill, like basically um oh, you basically it? give birth to other creatures that help you out. Ah, I see. <laughs> It, it, it's a what dirty is game. Stuff? What is this game is so different? It is. It, it's <laughs> Not very exactly surreal. Exactly sure what I'm doing half the time. Hmm. I haven't died yet. I suppose that's good. Life steal sounds yeah. useful. Oh, that one sounds horrible. Play carrier. Oh, <laughs> that's some sort of currency. Yeah, souls. Those little this Perfect game, yeah. sad faces. <laughs> yeah, basically use those to get some evolutions and stuff that help you out. I've got the two little green things. I don't know what they do, but I got them. It's pretty much mostly mouse driven, and your attack is a, yeah. a dash. It lets you go to pellet mode, which actually is very useful, but it's also really slow fire rate. <gasps> yeah. Oh, I got a little flower. I'm so cute. <laughs> You're this cute little thing that harvests souls, so actually you're you're an evil soul harvesting Sounds creature. Sounds exactly like me. I'm a cute little thing that harvests souls too. Exactly. <laughs> I can't get this yellow one. It's 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 squirrely as hell. Yeah, the yellow one is always the hardest one. What? Yeah. What are they singing? Oh. Gotcha. But then, okay, let's get some actual. Oh god, that's gonna go out. I'm assuming they're like power-ups or items. Yes, and you can use like... space to use them and scroll wheel to uh, rotate around them. It's very much mm. a, it's very much centered around those. That is one of the main yeah. things of the game. 
baby and tears. If it, you find it, yeah, and if you find it easy, you can use the keyboard to um, complement your controls if you don't have like a mouse wheel or you don't like using that. Yeah, space to yeah, use. I didn't a... like trying to decide what I'm. I'm not sure. Um, S is what like you can is... change the controls in the settings now. So like S is um use um well, I basically use WSD, but rather than for moving, they're more action based because the control is more end up way than the mouse and that sort of thing. What's that in the background? That would be her birds. <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. sorry. <laughs> they were they'd be quiet until we talked about them. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Quit dashing. Oh, Come on. What, what there is we go. this? Solar system. Oh, I'm not sure what they all these do. I'm yeah, still experimenting. I feel yeah. like I'm at. No, I am at college. It doesn't work. What's this yellow thing? Can I make it my friend? That um, is the oh. end of the level. You have to bring a flower to it. Oh, I did it! Oh my god, I'm a little sperm now. <laughs> Wait, can I say that on stream? I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, yes, you can. But yes, you are, sorry, and it's and the it. the mating thing is so cute and give you diabetes. I, it's. I did. I like kissed it, and then I got a flower. <laughs> this thing is so cute. Here's the flower that I need to finish this level. And if you find any of these eggs that don't hatch and give you like power ups, that means you can choose to hatch them for cost of souls and get a follower. But you need to keep enough souls to be able to select one of the good upgrades at the end of the level. Yeah, I mean balancing the number of like, souls you get from enemies and like from different things is something I'm trying to work out balance wise. But yeah, it's most of the time if you're nice. smart, you can pull it off. You know. Yeah. So I have a follower, which are extremely useful. I, I should really yeah. start using my uh, abilities some Is here. that the green things? The green egg-like things? Yeah. If they don't uh, pop open mm. at the end of the level and give you a um, an item, then you can actually like dash into them and spend souls to hatch a follower. <laughs> yeah, there is um, like some hidden tactics like where... If you see the mate, you can actually kill your mate for health sometimes. Yes. Okay. Rather than actually mate. Oh, with them. why would you do that? <laughs> oh, they're sleeping. What are these things? Oh my god, Honestly. they're awake. They're killing me. Help me. Yes, go ahead and drop a link to where people can get this game, Ben. Oh. Sure thing. That's a smart idea. A dead. So, what happens I, I if you if you only have one mate on the <laughs> level and you kill it? Can you not beat the level? I oh no, it, it takes well, but rather than going to um. The next, like where you can choose your evolution, <laughs> you have to go straight to the next level, sort of thing. So there's kind of like a actual um, cost to it. You can't just have health and then choose the evolution, sort of thing. Hopefully, I get at least three souls in this last room. I don't think that's going to happen. So I'm my evolution. No, I did anyway. Spent... So that don't matter. I did it too. <laughs> Let's try this again. I haven't played it in a little while, so I need a little. Maybe you problems. There is. A... It's. Options it's to make so it a bit cute. easier for this you. cute little sperm. <laughs> the little flowers. Oh, I love it already. So it's a game about basically it's a game about harvesting souls and then just finding someone to nail and make spawn. And sperm. I love it. Yeah. I love it. It's yeah. cute, but it's really dark. <laughs> I love it. Cute and dark. Exactly. Oh my God, no. Right yeah. up her alley. I mean, I it's right a bit of a learning curve because a bit of it's um, unusual and a bit unique, I guess. Like it's not like um, a typical RPG sort of thing me? where you. Um, that makes you a bit bigger and gives you um, a bit of health as well. Yeah, and the oh, that's see, a good one. See, they have items named that. Obviously, you know where his mind was when he was making this. <laughs> <laughs> what well, is the reason why I can play my hand? Excuse you. <laughs> this is an item called Eat Me. I'm like, what? what? When I first saw that. <laughs> No, it's a uh, Alice Wonder type thing. Just oh, like... what is this? Oh no! Oh, I got it. It's all good. Oh, yeah, what is this? It's just the name. Just the um, name. <laughs> Lucky Swap. <laughs> oh yeah, that one. Um, basically, if there's powers in the level in the current little cave you're in, you can swap them to a different one. Like it's like a random chance sort of thing. So if you got a bad one or a power you don't like, you can go to it and use Lucky Swap to change it to a different one. You can re-roll your items. Yeah. Whee. 
Okay, I'm doing a little bit better this time. Exploding thing, get away. <laughs> oh, my leg is twitching. Cinnamon, I need you to get up in a minute. Oh, 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 it's a thing that needs a flower. Oh, there are actually other back. creatures <laughs> that just... I'm gonna give my flower. There are other creatures than just the one that looks like you that you can mate with, but I haven't managed Ooh. to make that happen yet. Yeah, just trying to get my... Oh, oh no. I feel like... Oh, I found the flower! <laughs> yeah, it always seems to be that big excitement for people who play it. Like, oh, the flower! <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh no. <laughs> ah, why did space not activate item? Isn't it space? Oh, you can change that. Because one of the things that did change... It's S at the moment, but you can go in control scheme and change control system not now. Because oh. before you didn't have rebindable keys, but you do now in this new version. I don't know what this item is. Glass uh, cannon. That one. Yeah, basically, you suck, it takes off one HP container, and then it basically boosts all your stats up slightly. Permanently? Or... Yeah, permanently, yeah. Hmm, so I don't think I want to do that. You know what? Yeah. Screw it. I'll just do it anyway. What's the red room? The red room? Um, it's like a challenge well, room kind of thing. Yeah, you go in the center, then you're like your character. Yeah. It's where you get most of oh. the souls from, by the way. Come here. Come here. Like originally. Baby. Oh, I hate uh, it. Oh, oh I love it. <laughs> <laughs> These noises coming across, I don't know what to think. <laughs> <laughs> don't think anything. Okay. Alrighty, I might actually survive the first floor this time. Mm -hmm. Not using spacebar messes with me though. <laughs> I'm used to that from when I used to play, so I gotta go ahead and change that. I think. Yeah. The space now you actually is actually like move, so now you don't have to uh, mm -hmm. mouse drag. I guess that's an interesting method. Huh, that is kind of cool. Yeah. I like that. It's the gas pedal. <laughs> Quick. Um, yeah, you can just go into like pause the game and change the options eh. there. Oh uh, like more. Okay, let's, don't you don't touch those pillars butt. of doom. <laughs> oh god, uh, tongue, get your tongue away from my bum. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you didn't realize how dirty your game was until we played it, did you? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't do anything. I just mentioned sperm. Cute little sperm. <laughs> you can actually um, unlock a power. Wait, you get a tongue for yourself as well. <laughs> <laughs> Not the best choice of words I used there, but... Yeah, you're doing this to yourself, I'm just gonna say that. Okay, here is the mate. The mate room. Now, you, everyone on stream can see this. It's, it's stupid cute! Oh god, it's so cute! I love it. I love all of it. It's the best. And now we're sperm! <laughs> and now we can choose... Curse and make the babies. Evolution by choosing the ovary. Yep, you can choose yeah, exactly <laughs> what he said. <laughs> I, I'm gonna go with womb. Now that you told me what womb does, it sounds pretty damn useful. It is useful, yeah. And how often do oh, you hatch a uh, new one? I think it's every um. Ah. Four. I think actually it takes five, five initially, and then like then it's four thereafter. All right. Yeah. You know what, seven? Let's make a deal. You can get off my lap now. What is the uh, the bar down in the middle there? Like oh, right... that's um, the number of the kills you get to in order to um. Like basically, if you oh, yeah, shit. if you get another kill, and then you're gonna spawn another yeah, you gotta spawn another one. And then I did. The thing is, <laughs> let's try one of the other modes here. Let's try pellets. I was actually pretty good with that. This replaces your normal attack with a pew pew. Yeah. I don't know if this would be too hard for people, though, because some people find um, the way the character moves a bit hard at first to learn, because it's not, um, uh, uh, what's the word? Instant. It yeah. really takes some time for your character to move, which is something you get used to, but it does take time, because I guess people are used to a more immediate sort of thing. But it's, it makes you feel like you're swimming and all that sort of thing, though. Yes. Are you like so? What is the world? Where are you? Are you like some microorganism? Uh, yeah, kind of. It's kind of hinted slightly at um, 
that you actually like Whatever inside like a post. Yeah. Oh, well. oh yes, because here's one of the hints. I just picked up an antibody, which unlocks yeah. things. So do you have to like? How do you? I picked those up before and then died. And yeah, you just go to the mate and then you just um. Then it, like, <gasps> oh, bangs. the thing has a flower. So, so you, you have to finish the level in order to get it. But all right, and I never tend to do that whenever they show up. <laughs> whenever they show up, yeah. I never finish the level. They don't usually show up on level <laughs> one, so I'm really lucky right now. Hmm. There you go. Level one. I think it's just a random choice what level. I think like two. I don't know what I coded in it now. But yeah, they do show up on the random level, that sort of thing. And once you collect it, the mate has a shield. What is this all about? Oh yeah. It's so you basically um. You have to get the flower in order to uh, make her, so she doesn't have the shield anymore. Oh, I don't remember like there him. being a shield there. I just, uh, hmm, maybe I wasn't paying attention every other time I went to them. Yeah, well, maybe because you only found the the mate room when you had a flower, because then it goes away. It's I... just so you can't kill her like before you have the flower sort of thing. Why would so... you want to? They're truly totally adorable, and they make the little sperm. Health. Just health. Because like you can get health. Yeah. I, I think also like a. Um, a soul can also drop as well. You're a horrible, horrible creature. I'm just going to say <laughs> that. You harvest souls, you kill your mate for health. <laughs> I, I'm just saying you're a horrible... I about said human being, but you, you're a horrible I'm microorganism. I'm just British, that's what it is. <laughs> Gunk. I feel like... You realize that your game is dirty, right? <laughs> it's, not, it's only you who's making it first. I... That is true. <laughs> she tends to do that. That's why we keep her around. <laughs> ah, goddamn oh, exploding thing. Oh, oh, now kiss. Now kiss little thingies. Ah. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I knew you would love it. I, I so knew you would love this game. Hey, health. I need a health. Let's just go ahead and use it here. No, no, S. S. Okay, thank you. Gotta get used to that. <laughs> Yeah, oh. but like I said, if you're having problems with the controls, you can change them now. I think I want to keep it this way. It might try to start using spacebar for movement, but mm. it's just you know the adjustment period of getting used to a new control scheme. Yeah. I feel like I'm doing it the wrong way. I'm using the mouse to move, and then I'm using like uh, the 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 arrow keys and stuff. <clears throat> what is this blue thing? Why is it one of like a blue thingy flower? I got my flower. Oh, it's blue flower. Yep, that's hey, what's a what? flowers in this game, you know. In TF2, it's hats. This one's its flowers, you know. That's another oh. creature you can mate with if you bring the right flower to it. Mm -hmm. <gasps> I don't want to. Oh, I died. Oh. <laughs> so, is there any difference between mating with your own type of creature as compared to those? Is it? Sorry, what's that? Is there any kind of difference between... Oh, yeah, yeah, but it doesn't take you to the next level, it gives you something else instead. Oh, so you get two mates in a level, I see. Well, you're also yeah, pretty so... much a whore, okay. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's just a struggle for life, that's all it is. <laughs> that's great, though. That's... I, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep these jokes going, just so you know. <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. Now, do the other, do the multiple mates know about each other? That's the real question. If not, you're a bastard. Uh, they. Sorry, what was that? <laughs> if do the multiple mates know about each other? If not, you're pretty much a oh, bastard. Oh no. no, no. Okay. <laughs> well, it's it, the blue one. Kind of. Um, yeah, it, it just wants the flower. It's not really mating. Oh, okay. Sort of thing. <laughs> okay. I've never actually pulled it off, so I haven't <laughs> seen how it works. So, hmm. Ram, you shouldn't know that word. You're too young. <laughs> what are you doing? You're corrupting his mind. <laughs> if if he interacts with you whatsoever, I'm. It's long since been corrupted. We got some um, new people. Why I have not been paying attention? Hello, I Heart Pie Gaming and Rem. Welcome to the podcast. We are playing Copod by Ben Perry here. It's a very dirty game. It's pretty much porn. <laughs> yeah, it's 18 plus, so um, mature rating. It's 18 plus. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it's not for the, it's not a family game by any stretch of imagination. Okay, Blocked. now I have recharge hey. up or damage up. You know what? I should do something fun here. Enjoy How are you making that noise? I swear, only like cats can make that noise. <laughs> I'm part cat, I know. Here, we should... Uh, we were talking about, you know, pre-stream about 
what we think about hitbox. Here's one of the cool features I was telling you. I'm going to go ahead and use it right now. Um, Look at the flower. Let's go ahead and <laughs> vote on which of these power-ups I should select. Oh, we're well, using a fancy tech now. Yep. Start. There we go. Which power up should I take? Ugh, oh, I'm the only one who voted. I think you should take damage up, I think. I mean, That's I don't know. Nice. Very recharge up is good, but I don't know. Recharge rate is definitely something that's pretty useful when you have the, the, the pellet mode, mm. but damage is damage. You can't go wrong there. And it looks like pr almost unanimous on damage. One person voted for recharge. I'll yeah. give it. I'll give it another like ten seconds on the on the poll here. If anyone else wants to throw a vote in, that's a pretty snazzy feature of Hitbox. So I kind of love it. It's great for audience interaction. Yeah. Oh yeah. Also, since I have gaming played it um also i've changed the evolution system quite a bit like um it's a lot easier and they do a lot more um before they actually didn't do much change to your character like it was very subtle but then i just basically buffed them up and then seen it they became a lot more interesting okay let's go fertilize this one <laughs> i love it <laughs> i love this <laughs> one. i don't know what's going on you sir are a genius Damn it! St hold still and die, you that. little thing. Hold still while I mate with you. No, I'm trying to kill these little tiny ones. These ones are a pain with pellets. <laughs> they are especially you where they're going to be, not where they are. Shh. You ever play Space Invaders? <laughs> I was never good at it. Come on, the, <laughs> the yellow one is. Oh, ah, yeah. I got the yellow one. There we go. The yellow one's hard to get with pellets. <laughs> really hard. Now Apple we are gonna. Call. Oh god! No, oh, this guy. Okay, oh. no. Ah! I'm getting surrounded by these things. Now that we're on floor two, there's some new nastier enemies here. <gasps> I got a full health. Die! <laughs> Just die! Just shoot faster! Thank. I should have picked recharge rate. It's kind of slow. Who? I'm. Yeah. I'm barely alive. Oh, come here so I can kiss you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah. that was not sexy at all. <laughs> That was actually nothing what? to do with the game. That sound. <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to make it again for you? Please, no. No. <laughs> Let's try... What if, what, if, what if I mix the grill with that? I think you guys would be happy. Mm -hmm. That would be... I, I don't even know. You can right. mix, and, mix and match them as well. Like you can have more than one at a time. Oh. I did what? not know that. The things at the beginning that you can choose, the modifiers. Yes. You can actually um, mix and match them. Though several of them lower health, Owie. so it might be a bad idea to get multiple of those. Owie! Oh no. I died. Yeah. Bam! <laughs> These comments. <laughs> what, the game oh. comments or just my comments? Just, oh, look at the chat. The chat. Just... <laughs> About your mating <laughs> prowess, Jade. Well, you just... have to get good at it in order to play I the game. I never had a mate. <laughs> oh like, god! It, it's like reminds me of tweets from Hanan about her makeout noise. <laughs> it's like a praying mantis, like eating someone's head. So pretty much. But she starts with a <laughs> then ends with a. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh dear. I'm so glad I brought you back on the podcast. You, as I said last <laughs> night, you make everything 200% more entertaining. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, don't grab me. The life oh, still yes. takes a while. Puke. <gasps> I can puke yeah. now. Like, I was worried about it maybe if it would be too um, powerful if I made it too often. Because, Seems um, a little slow, but, you know, I haven't taken damage yet either, so it doesn't really mm -hmm. matter. I'm, now that I say that, I'm Boys, of course going to get... If you want me to, you know? <laughs> no, like, I'm still it seems like... I've like, been putting this up like that oh, once. The so dinner is going to get me. It's 
literally seems like it takes about an entire floor to get a life steal. So mm, if that it works balance wise or not, I don't know. Mm. I don't balance games. I, w I just want to be OP. <laughs> <laughs> Now well, I you're about to get one soon now, anyway. Damn it. it... Good, because I need it at this point. Yeah, don't attack them when they're attacking as well. I was thinking that you're... its attack was going to wear seeing... off any moment, and, and not so. Yeah, I won. Like, if you attack something while it's Screw attacking, you have made you it so like, you definitely take damage. You have to wait for it to stop attacking. <laughs> I need to look at my button here. I did it! More about the butts. Butts. It's all about the butts. But. Butts are kind of <gasps> wonderful. You got my flower. Come here. Mm. Yeah, I got a flower. I knew you would love this game. <laughs> <laughs> but leave life still just to just save your ass. Yes. But he's on one health. Yeah. I, I I I survived to keep the antibody, so that works. So Stun basically, damage. if you're having a hard time playing it first, you can turn up like I'm um, helping hand modifying yeah. and then anything else. Yeah, womb! I'll take womb. Now we got a bunch of power ups. Aww, like they're bunch... so cute when they kiss. Yeah. As soon as you get the first kill, yeah. Die! <laughs> Die, you little yellow bastard. There we go, gotcha. Oh, wow. Look how cute it is. How many floors are there, by the way? Um. I think there's about five or six, like, I can't remember. But then there's a, like a few, yeah. But they get bigger as you go along, though. And, mm. and there's like new enemies. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. God, the jokes write themselves here. Yeah, they get bigger. <laughs> no, no, S, S, stun these bastards. Do not run into the poison things. Ah, oh, god damn it. I, I knocked it into its own poison trail and, and followed it and... Okay, let's go. Helping hand. Oh shit! No, I want to. You main got a new enemy, though. Helping hand. I didn't. I didn't carry fedora. That was all. And womb. I just supplied the growls. And life steal. Here we go. Let's stack this stuff up. <laughs> yeah, because like, I remember I got a comment from someone saying, <laughs> "Oh, I wanted to like, change, like, select characters and that sort of thing." Obviously, he's talking from. Find advice perspective, and I thought well, maybe I could do something a bit different with like the modifiers, where you can kind of make your own run sort of thing. It's so you, you know, match them. part of me is like, well, that <laughs> that defeats no! like the, the the difficulty part of roguelike, since you can make it much easier on yourself. Yeah, but, but it's still options... random elements in there. Mm. Yes, but options are always a good thing, and people yeah. that want it more difficult can still absolutely do it, and that does not take away from their experience, <laughs> allowing people to have an easier time with it. So. Yeah. So I'm I'm actually fully in support of that because it makes it look like I suck less. I like just fucking yeah. fancy and just trying to ignore Jade as much as possible. <laughs> <laughs> just all these noises. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine. No, really. I, the followers I and I life steal and using I use helping hands. So then, ah, damn it. So then, yeah. I still have a fair <laughs> bit of life, used, so it works out great. You used what? <clears throat> I need a... Oh, used yeah. what? <laughs> Everything in this game's dirty, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm not the one that named that that modifier, so I'm just saying. It gives you a helping hand. It's just an innocent... Ugh. Helping hand, and I have puke. This, How does that work? There's nothing innocent about Jade. <laughs> just saying. I'm... I'm I'm finding she that sounds. Out she sounds innocent. It's it's a lie. It's it's all a lie. Mm. She sounds I cute and innocent. Exactly. Oh dear. Give me my flower, and your soul. Thank you. <laughs> I love it, Fedora. You're a man after my own heart. <laughs> give me your, give me your flower and your soul. <laughs> it's a first date. That's how most first dates go for me. <laughs> What? Oh. <laughs> All right, sneak through here. This seems like it should be easy, but then I, if I get in a hurry, I always headbutt these stupid mm. things. These pillars of death. On the first few levels, those things are quite easy once you, you know, master the controls. But then later <gasps> on, it starts introducing these like, oh, you know, you see that tongue guy there? You get those, but they start to pull you back towards some sort of thing. Yeah. If you get caught. 
I have so I many followers. I have a flipping army. Now I just oh, need yes. um <laughs> I need sacrifice. That's what I need to get right now. So I which allows oh, you to kill one of your followers and gain a permanent heart container. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was thinking like oh, was sacrifice was it before. Got bigger. Um... It grew bigger. That twirly <laughs> thing. Excuse me. The twirly thing. Ten, the red tends to happen. <laughs> okay. Let's yeah. Oh, no, I don't have a flower for her yet. Mm. <laughs> ben right now is screaming at himself, what the hell did I get myself into? Why did I agree to this? <laughs> I don't know. It's like nothing I can say, it's just, just random. I don't know what to do. <laughs> There's no <laughs> right answer. <laughs> <laughs> that power's pretty good there, the purple one. Um, yeah. I should like, probably get rid of baby tears. Two of, or, yeah, it doubles the number of powers you have. That's a good idea with my shield, because that's a very good power. Mm. Yeah. Let's... Flower! And shocker is really so, good, too. So you yes. Just, like, yeah. wiggle, also, wiggle, you, wiggle, name, wiggle. you name something shocker. I'm just going to point that out. I <laughs> yeah. yeah. What does it do? It's the shocker. Exactly. Hello, so what should baby. I, call it? I got the flower for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can you give me a kiss? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the noises. The constant noises. I'm sorry. Okay, I mean, uh, I just wake up in the middle of the night sweating. <laughs> What's going What was that? Dash boost yes. or damage up? I'll go with damage up. Let's... Trust me, if I was going to kill you, you wouldn't hear a thing. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, that's the only time there's no disturbing noises. Come on, yellow. Ah, I got the yellow one. Yippee. Ah, they didn't give any souls. Cheap bastards. Oh, come here, Florence. Oh, there you go. Oh, we got, we got more cats on the podcast. Yeah, I speak cats. cat. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Cinnamon is is uh, Jade's cat, and it's, it's ridiculously cute. I think oh. I accidentally killed my own followers. When you have this yeah, big of a crowd of followers... The ones that you spawn are actually, actually very form. weak, but it yeah. doesn't take much to spawn them though. So you always have, you usually have at least one. It's when you have a big group of followers, it's very easy to accidentally dash into them. <laughs> mm, yeah. Which I just killed another uh, one. But the one you oh, buy your no. souls to is quite a bit beefy, so you know he can take a few. Oh minutes. no, they want my butt. <laughs> Owie. Yeah. That's Just a, shooting my probably. butt. That's a quote for the box. That's yes. using my box. Yes. That's a box quote. <laughs> I, I'm gonna... Uh, I'm trying to not be too terrible of a person and say so bad things to Jade when she says stuff like that, but you make it hard. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I know. Damn I it. I don't want to know. Damn it. That wasn't intentional. Okay. <laughs> Followers, you go mess with this thing. I hate these disease... Spreading things. Right. Oh, now I got it. Oh, Use the shocker. <laughs> <laughs> Works every time. Yes, yes it does. Storm, don't leave me. Come back to me. Quote whining stone. It's not my fault. I shouldn't. Do it. Well, it is my fault for bringing her on the podcast, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be careful with those guys. Those these guys are nasty, but the shocker pretty much took care of it. <laughs> and yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Like... <laughs> yeah, they're really tough, but if you've got the right powers, they're very easy to deal with. And also the only attack when you want to attack them, so Yeah. Not too bad. They they sleep and they, it's a good idea to avoid them if you don't have oh, some <laughs> beefy powers. <laughs> I imagine that's Fedora's life in a nutshell. The awkward teenager. <laughs> nope, not at all. Actually, so. Oh, dear. I, I love um, that um, <laughs> Axe is like, oh, how's the podcast going? I'm like, down a dark place, <laughs> as usual. <laughs> exactly. Okay. I got my army again here. 
Solar system is a power-up I never effectively use. I always end up like just yeah. them ramming into walls. I Make think it it's like spoon. nothing now. Make it the, because, the, um, the, the, the No. It's I think I've made it so rather than like having this all like different distances, they all orbit you at an equal yeah. distance sort of thing. I think I've changed it to that. That would so maybe that be more useful. useful. Let's sneak yeah. through here. Okay. I add more even more pet of them all to you and like, it's just a ring of them spinning around you. It's so cute. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, I'm I'm hanging on by a thread here. Oh hey, look! Oh, also you eat hearts <coughs> in this game, by the way. Flower. Like a single yes. life pickup is an actual heart. You de <laughs> you steal souls, you devour hearts. Hey, I was thinking like you flower. know, lots of other games use conventional, you know, <laughs> cute. Idealistic heart, so I thought, why not just use a cardiac heart? It doesn't fit the cute theme very well, <laughs> I'm just gonna say. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, uh, this room, I'm sure it's a trap. Do you find a room? room? It's, it's a 50 50 <gasps> chance. I don't want that item anyway, because it lowers my HP, and with only three hearts, I don't think that's a good idea right now. Even though it beefs up everything else. Mm-hmm. What? I'll tell you what, Louis, that room wasn't a trap. How do you know? How do you tell if it's um, is or not? Mm, well, we maybe, Beefs you know, up everything hidden else. tactics. Secrets, developer secrets going on here. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a secret, um, I don't tell what it is, but it's something I realized after the fact I implemented it. I was like, oh, I can tell if this is a trap or not, by if I have this sort of power. Yeah. I have the choice but, of immunity. What exactly does immunity yeah. do, or stun damage? Well, basically, like you can sometimes spawning like huh? sometimes creatures, infected creatures, spawn into the world, and oh. they can do infected damage to you. And if you're fully infected, like all your health is like all green, then you do half damage. Oh. And immunity basically makes them do no damage to you whatsoever, not like, even any damage. Yeah, you do no I damage. Have, I have run into green hearts before. What does stun damage exactly do? Oh, every bite stuns enemy for a very brief period of time, so it resets their attack. I love the floaty huh. chunks when you kill something. It's quite useful, especially for like um, enemies that charge up their attack and stuff like that. Eh. Let's kill these little things. Hey, I got another spawn. <laughs> Yay, spawn. Come on, yellow- oh yeah, the yellow guy got away. Anyway, I'll let it live for now. <gasps> oh. Yellow one, come here and let me give you my flower. Ah! Ah, this thing's getting me! No. <laughs> it's that satisfying feeling of seeing him, like, rub noses. It's <laughs> like <laughs> I don't like yeah. gunk. I should use shield more often, though. I have two of them. Mm. But I used to, especially when my like, enemy has, like, gunk behind it and stuff like that. Yes. Gunk, oh, God! You say. Oh, God! Mm hmm. Ah! Uh, <laughs> I dead. Those things are nasty sons of bitches. Use gunk. Quick, use gunk. Ah, uh, too late. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh. Those things are oh, yay. using using the gunk power is really effective because they always follow you. Like some okay, enemies okay. who don't follow you, not they're not. It's not that I, good, but I ones. might agree, Stone. He thinks that growl is your mating call. <laughs> it's my mating call. Oh, no, dear. I had a mating call. Someone had decided on that. I don't remember what it was. Hmm. Oh, it might as well be my mating call. Which doesn't make sense on account I've been making it in stream. So... <laughs> just, I apparently have to find Just advertising. In stream. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Advertise to the internet, why not? What's the worst that can happen? Okay, come on, die little oh. thing. <laughs> what is this? Oh my god! <laughs> Alright. Huh. I want my button. What? You what? I did. What are these? Like bumblebees or something? Oh uh, yes, they have a chance of spawning where if you kill them all, then a heart spawns. So well, I Sounds useful. Did all. <laughs> <laughs> she. That. Just so you know, in Australia, that doesn't really mean what it means to most of the rest of us. <laughs> This has been this. There's been this conversation on on Twitter several times. <laughs> I diddled. Yes. 
Well, there's some words like that in the UK and stuff like that, like the word fanny. It means something completely different here. Yes, yes. I, I heard fanny, about that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So when you hear Americans say fanny, we just giggle. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're sitting on his fanny. <laughs> I, there was a conversation <laughs> about that between, uh, oh, Vapid and, and his, um... Lady friend. His, his lady friend, Ramen, about what Fanny means to that, to uh, her compared to him. I was like, oh, <laughs> interesting. I still think the cream pie conversation is the best. If you think, okay, if you think Jade is dirty, <laughs> Ramen blows that out of the water. So, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> uh, Robin is unique. I don't know. Is that out the water? Eh? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I d I'm she makes erupting. She makes erupting penises in Minecraft. So. Oh, lovely. Yes. Uh, I. I don't know. Yeah, and and talks about cream pies on stream and stuff. So. Yes. Of course. That, yeah, why that... wouldn't you? I'm not that bad. I have no. some class. <laughs> she makes Jade look innocent. Oh god. <laughs> yes, I should get her on the podcast me. sometime. I've had Vapid, so I should get Robin. Oh, you got but lucky swap at the moment. I did it adorably. So You'll forget you that part. <gasps> that oh my god, you. I don't have the flower for you. Yes, <laughs> I can re-roll stuff, but it's... Uh, personal space, pretty good. Stun's yeah. alright. I don't mind any Ooh, of them too bad. Black but... hole's pretty good. Or well, purple hole's pretty good. Yeah, I'm, I'll probably replace Lucky Ooh, Swap with purple yo. hole. I'm gonna get you. Pur purple hole. Hmm, that sounds pretty dirty too, actually. <laughs> it's just a hole. Hey, only dirty when you <sighs> made it dirty. What is this? What? Where did... Glass cannon. Glass cannon. Mm -hmm. It it buffs all your stats and takes yeah. one health. Permanently. Oh no. I mean, it's oh, good and God. terrible. I'm finding a lot of the antibodies today. That's deadly that's good. spray. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what uh. you call it that? Well, it's like spray and pray. That's all. Are you sure? That's, that's the angle I was coming from. But you know, anything is like. Hey, 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 I don't judge, you can go whatever <laughs> angle you want with your spray, I just don't bring me into it. Oh, I barely got out of range of that thing. <clears throat> oh yeah, later on you get ones which are bigger, and they have a... I'm just gonna point out that have I love this range. game, and I love you. <laughs> it's amazing the world needs it. Thank you. It is a wonderful game. Oh, it's just so hard to get the word out there. It is. Oh, it very much is. Like, oh, please, well, that's please. that's why I YouTube. I but I yes. my reach is still rather limited these days. But especially, mm. it's all like a it's always a struggle to get more exposure for all of us. Really, oh, it God, is. Did I just say that? <laughs> <laughs> You're exposing yourself. Where what? Oh dear. Immunity <laughs> or recharge what, up. Recharge I'm recharging. Up. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I can't remember if I nerfed that slightly or not. So I, when I initially put it in, it was pretty powerful. Aww, what was? I died. Um, recharge up. Yes. I think I nerfed it. Unless I forgot. But it's it's sure a good thing when you have pellets, that's for uh, sure. Hmm. Uh -huh. like, try like just keep tapping it like as soon as you're full. Like, see how frequently you can attack now. Fairly frequently. Yeah, like it does make. Oh a god! Difference. Oh god! That that I should have got immunity. Those things plague you. I didn't know that. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh god! Bumblebees. If you can kill them, I advise using black purple hole. Use it. Use the hole. I did. I did. Okay. Get nom 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 a heart. Mm, bleeding heart. Exactly. Yummy. The thing we've also been infected is that it goes straight to healing your infected heart rather than... Ah, bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, that's why immunity is good. Oh my god! Any damage from these things oh shit, son. 
Hmm. What does that green one do? I can't. That's like a negative thing, isn't it? It's kind of bad. Um, it actually that's pretty good in some certain circumstances. Basically, it makes you puke up all your health and um, powers you currently hold, but it, it don't, they don't go away. They just surround you. But it's very good if you're infected, <gasps> I can't so you can pick up power. health again, and then it kills you infected. Oh, interesting. Okay, yeah. fire my laser. Oh god, oh god, this is going badly. Okay, I live. <laughs> they knocked me out with I mean, a laser beam. I mean, I'm an range. adult. I don't know what you're on about. Personal space is pretty good for those things as well. <gasps> oh, shit. What are you oh doing god, over there? Game. <laughs> are you still playing Copod or are you just doing something else? I'm still playing. She's diddling. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, no, it's horrible, Joe. I have a fart on stream, guys. It's gonna <laughs> get you. It's gonna get you. It's gonna get you. Oh, what do I have? You. I have shield, personal space, and puke. <laughs> like, it works. When you die again, you can always um change up um the modifiers. So I think there's you know, there's <gasps> oh, one where goodness. basically it combines your soul count and your health count into one, so hands. you just have your soul count. So when mm. you take damage, your soul count goes down. Oh God. That trail, what does nasty. Hand do? What's that? Ah, you, dead. Hand. Oh, basically, it um, it's like a reroll, but of all the powers you currently hold in your um inventory. So if you got three powers in your inventory, then it turns them into three different ones, and if you got two, you know, it turns them, you know, so on and so forth. All right, it's ah. about time to move on to the next segment. I think that's enough of me <laughs> dying on stream. <laughs> it, it's a fun game. Go ahead and throw your link in again where they can pick this up. Um, what's the price sure on it again? I can't remember. It's uh, about five dollars, depending on where best mode you are. But yeah, it, it's, it's some amount of foreign money, is what it is. Yeah, it's not expensive, but yeah, it's it's go. worth the money. It is, and it's still under development. There's still definitely more content and stuff to come. Mm-hmm. Like I, I just gotta put all the different places. You Buy it. Like, it can get from indie game stand as well and stuff like that. And Dezura. It's on Dezura. Do you have it on itch.io? Uh, no, I do not. I highly recommend throwing it on there. You know, they it, it's not a big well known store, but you'll probably get a few sales. But itch.io is a hundred percent sales go to you. They are very okay. developer focused, and they have a widget as well. So you, if you want a, a widget on your home page, on your page that gives you a hundred percent of sales, go with it. You. Mm -hmm. They will. They have mentioned they are thinking in the future of going to. They take a ten percent cut, which is absolutely reasonable for them yeah. to you know keep their service running. And it's that's still twenty percent better than yeah. most other sources out there. So. Oh, yeah, the Humble Bundle widgets is this? what I'm using at the moment because people know that name and they take a very small percentage as well. Right. I put, uh, yeah. My advice would put both on your homepage and so mm -hmm. if, they, if people only feel safe using Humble Widget, they can use that and yeah. just note that you, gave, you get more of the sales if they use the Itch.io. Yeah. So give them Definitely options. Definitely very good to this, yeah. Yep. And Itch.io, they're great people. They, they are very developer focused. There's a lot of cool features like when people buy through Itch.io, they can choose to pay more than the asking price. They can choose to tip you. So. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Just the tip. Uh, yeah, I'm just having a look at the website now. It looks very nice. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like those guys. I, I'm a big supporter of them. Oh, yeah. I was copying and pasting links, wasn't I? Just looking at Itch.io. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the Kickstarter spotlight. We will go ahead and play the Kickstarter trailer here. Oh, this is like so many innuendos. I can't, I can't take it. I'm sorry. It's not my fault. Mm-hmm. 
And that is the way. Oh, that pixel art's so good. <laughs> it's pretty cute. It definitely has a another world vibe to it. If anyone knows that classic game. Hmm, my Kubi? Is that the one? What's that? Guess. Another world or out of this world is what it was called in other countries. Oh uh, yeah. It's a classic, like very uh, classic PC game, and there was a re-release of it not too long ago. It, it's it has a very alien, mysterious vibe to it, and that's what Another World had. And I've never seen a game that nails that vibe that uh, Another World had until this. Just this trailer nails that vibe completely. Mm. A very hostile. Yeah, this is world. nice atmosphere, that's for sure. Yep. Another World, a classic game. If you guys. If you guys haven't played it, I believe it had a like an HD remake that hit Steam not too long ago. It's it's pretty great. Oh really? I didn't I did not know that. Oh. I think I've only it's seen um, some let's plays of it. Never actually got around to playing it myself. Also, you get this like anyway. buddy alien giant alien dog thing that looks pretty cool. Oh yeah. No, it looks like um. Is it combat focused or just exploration exploration and focused? Is that what it seems? If it's like so another far. world, another world, you know, there's combat, but it's more like mm, it's not what you're there for. Yeah, it, it, well, the combat is more like doing things the right way so you don't get murdered. Like uh, you do have a gun, but you gotta go at the right angle at an enemy for them not to shoot you first. So it's more like a puzzle when it comes to combat mm. than it is actual. It's almost like combat. Um, point and click sort of. Um... It's definitely a venture game, but not quite... Po it's like a mix... Mm. That's the thing. Another world's always been unique in that regard. It's an adventure game, but not really point-and-click. But it still has those elements. Yeah. But not the nonsense, like, you have to try to figure out the developer's messed up logic to put X into Y <laughs> hole, and it does something on the other side of the island, and, yeah, and it's all abstract in your logic. What? Exactly. <laughs> Put X into Y hole. Yeah, that's how oh. point and click games. Okay. That's, that's... Oh, <laughs> oh my god, there's a different flower here. Can I wear two flowers at once? Oh my god, I can. Of course you can. What kind of yes. person do you think I am? It makes you a pretty, pretty little amoeba-like creature. <laughs> anyway, let's look. Let's look. Oh, I look so cute. <laughs> also, this has. Reached its goal of fifteen thousand dollar monopoly money, pretty much. <laughs> How did I know he's going to say that? <laughs> it's it's Canada, Canadian money. Canada isn't real. Canada yeah, is a myth. <laughs> dying Canada, you die in your life, though. Exactly. Oh, but yeah, no, it looks good. Fuck off, yeah. Selm. Fuck right off, asshole. <laughs> anyway. It's it is Reach's goal. I do like to try to spotlight things that haven't, but it was just this game interests me so much that I had to spotlight yeah. it. I always well, do even like then, even if it has succeeded, you know, there's always stretch goals and stuff like that, isn't there? I always do like looking at like the high tier rewards because they're always really cool. So uh... <gasps> I unlock Spreadshot. Alright, this is enough. This is enough. I'm gonna be playing it for the next like a million years. <laughs> <laughs> Emperor of the Universe, every previous reward, your guest appearance in the game as an NPC, plus t-shirt, exclusive box version of the game. Those are always cool rewards being able to be put in the game. The, the funny thing is, this game doesn't have extremely high dollar rewards. Like 500 can Canada money is uh, the highest, and you usually see like thousand, two thousand dollar tiers on most Kickstars. They, they kept it pretty low key in that regard. I don't know how much five hundred dollars is in real money. I think it's about the same, isn't it? Well, Google would tell real me. Real money. Fifteen thousand, whatever it was, in Canadian dollars. Five hundred in Canadian dollars equals white in American. Well, it tells me how many, how much it is in pounds, but oh, that's, that's still not money. Oh. <laughs> not that we, not that that we care about. <laughs> All these four. My people. money wouldn't be your money either. Right, Australian money. <laughs> I assume Australian money is like like bones of animals or something. Mm, I don't know what that con was supposed on my, to mean. Depends on my mood. It it <laughs> could be the bones of. Uh, yeah. Yeah. 
But, you know, Australia, crazy place. Everything wants to kill you. Like, Aust mm -hmm. Jade, just ask Jade. Every day she has to fight off murderous wildlife with her bare hands. England is the complete opposite. We've, like, tamed our environment over the years, and everything just... Oh, it's ridiculous. Like, I remember I was in London, and I was walking through Hyde Park, and I was eating something, and a squirrel just climbs up your leg. I'm like, okay. <laughs> well, yeah, that's a friendly squirrel. If a squirrel I'm came near me, I'd be like, you little fucker, get off! And then I'd shank it in the throat. Well, okay. Well. That's how you have to be <laughs> when you live in Australia. <laughs> Except for... Enough to think. We had this story I'm last time. I'm worried if it had, like, rabies, though. True. Uh, we don't have that here. Oh, well then, you have a pet squirrel now. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it. yeah, we don't have rabies here. We're very careful not to get into this country. It's in Europe, so there's like, yeah, strict I guidelines of what you can do. I think. Yeah. What was that animal you were telling us about last time you were on, Jade, that is actually one that looks like it should want to kill you, but is actually the friendliest thing? Echidnas. The ones Echid with spikes on the back. Oh, the one with um, four penises. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, they have four penises. Well, it's they like have a koalas. good life. <laughs> yeah. Koalas are born with chlamydia. Well, no, they use one at a time and it alternates. You so know. they have just multiple barrels, pretty much. It's it's like a... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a, like... It's a revolver, yeah. A penis minigun. Yeah. Just pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Only one used at a time. Don't be ridiculous. God. But apparently they they look like they are you know horrible things, but they are extremely friendly in in <laughs> even though they're all spiny, so you don't really want to pet them, I guess. Yeah, the, in, right. it's everything else wants to kill you there except for the one that looks like it should want to kill you. It's honey badgers you got to look out for. Those are nasty bastards. <laughs> mm-hmm. Indeed. <laughs> so like, I wouldn't even say they look that cute. I guess. I guess they look cuter than most things. Like, but yeah, they're just ridiculously aggressive. What is it with all straight animals being like the most twisted perversions? Like giant balls on kangaroos and four penises on porcupine things. And whatever it was you said about koalas. Disconnected to the world. They evolved without any sort of class. Hey, there's a picture whatsoever. of them. They are kind of cute. They kind of look like a kiwi that's spiny. Oh yeah, that's it. They're like, almost like hedgehogs. Not compare an Australian animal to a New Zealand one. <laughs> Their face looks like a kiwi. It really does. No! Yes. Fiora! No! What did I just say? And so these, like, little no. balls no. of death are no. friendly, huh? It's just yes. a hedgehog with a long nose. That's all it is. Yeah! It's like <laughs> a, when a hedgehog and an anteater go... And then they make that. <laughs> yes, that's how biology four works. Penises. <laughs> somehow no, it, it gets the four penises after. Yes. It's <laughs> gonna create it. Uh, yeah, dude. more like an anteater hedgehog pipe red. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> and but I get they're friendly. You said they do this like snuffling thing that's really cute. I don't I they it's do. You can like pat them. They just roll up into a bowl if they're scared. Hmm. Huh. It's they they are rather cute, but it doesn't look like I want to pet one. It looks ouchy. Yeah. If you that... pat it the right way, it won't hurt. Go with go with the grain, not against the grain. <laughs> yeah, go go with the quills. <laughs> if you do it the other way, you will probably be stabbed and poisoned. I think they're, they're, they're poisonous. Just... Yeah. Oh God. Poison in the tips of those. <laughs> they're spidey and, and poisonous, yet they're friendly. That makes no sense. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. I want one as a pet, actually. Like, like uh, going back to what I said earlier, everything here is completely tame, basically, apart from badgers. But even then, they just stay where they are. Badgers are are mean little bastards. Hmm. Oh, well, hang on, I might be able to find something for you that you might think is just the best. Mm, is it porn? Um, you... <laughs> <laughs> you think that's the best? I'm just this going on assumption of what I know of you, what you'll probably link me. <laughs> and how the stream's been going so far. Exactly. Excuse you. Exactly, Excuse you. Take I that back. Exactly, I heart pie. It looks like the boss version of a kiwi. 
Oh, uh, yeah, nasty things in, in Australia. That'd be terrifying to have that thing chasing you. Oh, yeah, that is things. Lizard. Isn't it so cute? No, it's horrifying. It's like that, um, it's the thing that makes you go blind in Jurassic Park. Exactly. Well, if it bites you, you will die. Yes, everything, <laughs> everything is poisonous over there. And they can run there. across water. That's impressive. They, I, yeah, I have seen it. That's the, yeah, that's, yeah. Look is it the top gross. right gift? It's or is that just like is, what is it venomous That's over not. there? Jesus Christ! Everything is poisonous and venomous, and how how are you not, not dead? I'm not. I don't believe that at all. <laughs> oh. I'm sure you're poisonous. <laughs> uh, Women are the worst. We don't need poison as well. Good good point. <laughs> oh I, dear. I can't argue that logic. Oh. All right. Let's, okay, it's about time to start the wrap up. Rem is back. <laughs> you said Adora. it. I'm just agreeing with you. Adora. That's how it works. You have you're supposed to agree with a woman, otherwise you're doing it wrong. And if you agree with a woman, you're doing it wrong. Yeah. Is it? Is this Tumblr? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> no, not at all, actually. But let's do it. Go ahead and start the wrap up. Uh, let's start with Ben. It's time for you to show like a shameless whore, tell people where they can find you, where they can throw money at your game, all of that. Oh, yeah. Throw, throw okay. some links Yay. in chat. Pause. I'm Ben Perry, trying to develop the game the best I can, and you can get it from my website, which is um, herebben.com slash copod. Just think of it like, here be dragons, but for me. And Link in chat. Uh, oh, throw the link in chat. Oh, yeah. Link in chat. Oh, dear. And, yeah, you can also go on to Zura. And, oh, you don't forget to vote on Steam Greenlight. I need those votes and whatnot. Throw a Greenlight thing and, in, and everybody go vote oh, right yeah. now. Yeah, we go on Greenlight, and you can also um, get it from Indie Game Stand as well. There you go. Go vote right now. The podcast won't end until all of you vote. <laughs> we know these things. Ugh. I don't it now. I'm only doing it for the sperm and the cute littleness. You only do it for the sperm. How are things are going on Steam Greenlight? Um, very slow at the moment. <laughs> like whenever there's a batch, like the percentage goes up, and they're like, "Yay!" But you know, it's still, still a long way to go. Sadly, it's just it's really hard to get people to go there and stuff. Like people cover it on like some YouTube videos and that. Because like last week, like sent some emails around, and people cover it, and it gets views and whatnot and awareness. But it's really hard to get people to get them to vote on that Steam Greenlight page. It it it's, is, uh, and when I when I do videos, I always put that as the first link in my videos to get people to try Much to go there. Much appreciated. Yeah. Thank God it's, it's a lot easier these days to get on Greenlight than it used to be. Mm. So. But you know, it's a win lose scenario. Like they've changed it from, like it used to be default to have it on new releases, and they've changed it to top sellers. And like. But this like so so you had very minimal exposure on the front page when you new release. Now you get none at all. Well, you know you still can change the tab, but most people just you know just skim the page and I guess don't really bother. I don't know. I'm sure they know what they're doing, kind of. All right, go ahead, Jade, and throw a, ch a link to your Twitter because she doesn't actually stream or YouTube at all yet. She just. Ends up in a lot of streams. And Yet. It is, is very prominent in the, the streaming community. And very much loved in the streaming community. She, I'm going to make get her to start streaming or YouTubing. One or the other or both. Eventually. Oh, dear God. You should go follow her on Twitter. If you thought this was entertaining, her <laughs> her uh, commentary was entertaining, just follow her on Twitter. It's just as entertaining. Yeah, scroll down and there's a picture of a to-do list and I just crossed your mum off it. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. You go to my Twitter and there's a picture of that right there. I'm going to have to go look at that. <laughs> so, the things she says make the greatest quotes, like, I just do it for the sperm, Jade, 2014. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a whole lot more quotes for this after this um, stream now. Yes. That's for sure. <laughs> There's going to be a little what? what? A lot more quotes. <laughs> Fox quotes Maybe. right there. <laughs> <laughs> 
and of, figures. And of course, I am Fedora Gamer. You can find me right here every week on the Randomly Generated Podcast. If you're not following this this Hitbox channel, you should click that follow button. That's about the only streaming I really do unless I end up in charity streams. I want to stream more. I really need to find time to stream more. But every week ish every week ish is the Jake's podcast. Join the coal time. Exactly. <laughs> I will become like stream famous just by having you on my calls all the time. I will just use you to become big. I don't think so. <laughs> Australian woman, yeah, that's really gonna make you your far. It it will. With when it's you, it will. <laughs> oh my god. I that's a brilliant <laughs> idea. Thank you for that idea. I, I, if I can't make you start streaming or YouTubing, I will just then use you for my own means. Eh. <laughs> Wasn't it? Shouldn't no. Shouldn't be the way around. Shouldn't shouldn't me being the woman use you? Giggity. <laughs> oh. I was expecting a very professional <laughs> broadcast here. Oh, somebody not. lied to you. Oh. <laughs> somebody yeah. lied to you if you expected that. Oh god. <laughs> what is up with Twitter? Why is it flaccid? Why why don't you try using two hands? Okay, I didn't do any of that. That's well, that one's pumps. not her fault. And uh, no. okay, pff, I am primarily a YouTuber. You can find me at youtube.com slash Fedora Gamer with a four for the A in gamer, which is the most awkward thing to say out loud, but can't change that, so anyway. Primarily a YouTuber, I cover I cover entirely indie games. You should go over there and subscribe. I just recently hit five hundred subs. Woohoo! Give away a bunch Yay. of games for that. Yes, and there will be game Yay. giveaways. I do that on my channel quite often. I will be doing a game giveaway in the near future for the Dungeoning because the dev is a cool guy and sent me an ass load of, of keys for that game. So, And, of course, I'm on the <clears> Twitter <throat> as well. I pretty much don't. I, I, I tweet people. It's not nearly as entertaining as Jade's Twitter. So if you're going to follow anybody's oh. Twitter, <laughs> make it Jade's. <laughs> And yeah, um, um, it's about time to wrap up. What? What were we saying? Thanks, thanks to Jansen and um, I Heart Pie Gaming for just following. So yay! And thank you to everyone for uh, stopping by. And yeah, there is for me on the podcast as well. There's some one last thing we need to do. Hold on a second. I lost the link. So we are going to go over and raid the Wolves Against Lime stream. Go ahead and say randomly generated raid. And <laughs> that is typing uh, what is it, Wolfpack Gaming. There we go. Wolfpack Gaming. Hitbox TV. Did I misspell that? No. There you go. Yeah. Dads would beat Thanks, me. Thanks, Dads beat me. Go over there. Show them some love. Dude. It's for a good cause. Great people. Lots of awesome streamers and YouTubers are part of it. A lot of them are good friends of mine or people I have a lot of respect for and admire. So jump over there. Randomly generate raid. Thank you for joining us this week. I'll see you guys next week. Bye bye, everybody. Toodles. Say bye, Jade. Bye. There we go. I said bye. Bye bye. Calm down. <laughs>